Hello and welcome to Microsoft Hates Greg. My name is Greg Deckler and today I'm going to be talking about an issue that I submitted almost three years ago and is still not fixed even in the future version of Power BI Desktop, the October release, because we're in September. It's very confusing. Um, so anyway, the issue is dates and why. And this actually came out of a forum um, issue that somebody, and they have a legitimate reason for it, and I can't remember the exact reason for it, um, but I come up with a solution for it. And, but then Power BI let me down uh, because poor implementation, bug, by design, you name it. I mean, it's not by design because they accepted this issue as an, an actual issue. Um, so anyway, so the idea was that you could display a date in your Y axis um, in Power BI. So that was the concept, um, but I'll show you what happens when you try to do that. So normally if you do that, right, and what I have here is I have this dates and Y, and again, this is just example scenario people. Um, so what I did was I took the month times, you know, 1 million, right, and then the day times 1,000 and then the year, and that gave me a numeric value that I could then apply a format string. So you can see the custom format string up there, zero, zero, backslash, slash, zero, zero, backslash, slash, zero, 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 right? So that gave me the ability to have a custom format string, a numeric value that I could then put into the Y axis, but then displayed as a date, right? That was the concept that I came up with. Because if you just go with a normal date and you try to put it into the Y axis, it wants to do an aggregation of counts or count distinct. Um, it doesn't give you the option to just display the date, even though we all know that a date is just a whole number, right? The number of days since December 30th, 1899. Still doesn't let you do it. Um, so, but, so it sort of works, I guess you could say. So you, you get some really weird results. Like, so you get like zero two, zero two. So that's, that's February. Right. And you can actually see it works in terms of max of dates and why two, three, 2021. And, it, and so that actually works. It displays in the tooltip correctly. It's just on the Y axis, it get you get some wonky results. Right. What you know, what is this exactly? Where did that even come from? Um, because if you have like, you know, here's 2021, January, there's same thing, max of dates and why displays correctly. Right. No problems there. Well, what's going on here? I finally figured out. Um, and I use the duration. It actually sort of works for duration, believe it or not. So I have another table in here where I have a duration measure. And basically, I've, I've got a number of seconds, right? And so I take, grab the max of the seconds. I truncate seconds divided by 3,600 3, to give me the hours. And then to get my minutes, I trunk the seconds minus those hours times 3,600, 3, then divide by 60, trunk it. That gives me minutes, seconds, similar kind of... Uh, of a calculation, then to get a duration format, right? It's hours times um, 10,000 plus minutes times 100 plus seconds, right? And then I can give it a custom format string. You see in the format up there of 00 colon 00 colon 00. And that actually kind of sort of works, right? So I have, there's one hour and you can see the tooltip, it's one hour and one second, 3,006, 3,006, 3,601 seconds, if I could talk. Um, and then down here, you're right, it's got like 72 seconds, which ends up being a minute and 12 seconds, right? So it all it all works, and, it, it's, and this all makes reasonable amounts of sense in terms of what it's displaying. But this is how I came, is, okay, so what it's doing is it's trying to pick increments, um, and it actually does it successfully here, but for some reason, when it tries to do it with a date format, it gets, it. it I guess what it's doing is saying, oh, this number, is I guess it would be 10 million or zero, yeah, 10 million. Nope, a million. So this is a million. No, it actually is 10 million, Greg. So it, this saying, oh, 10 million. So it it doesn't get the date right, right? The date portion of it correct, uh, the year or the month. Um, but it's picking increments along the chain from zero to 14 million, essentially. And so you get 12 million, 10 million, 8 million, and then it doesn't work out right. Uh, versus with duration for, I guess, luck of the draw, right? When it picks, you know, 4,000 and it gets formatting, you know, that actually makes some amount of sense. Um, it just doesn't make any sense for a date, essentially. 
because uh, you know you're not going after year zero 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 you're going after year 2021 so it is again it's just you know it's been three years since they accepted this almost three years um this was back in this i don't know what i was doing posting this issue three years ago the day before christmas but there, there you go I guess my christmas eve was uh i have no life anyway that's all i had for this video <laughs> hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time <laughs>